Hey guys, and welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. I have a brand new 6600 XT that I just picked up today at Best Buy, and I can't wait to open it up, put it in a computer, and do some testing on it. So let's get started. Ooh, sweet. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, EVGA XC3 for its size and its design. But open it up. Very pretty card. It's got night, even though it's low power car supposed to be, it's got great radiators, it looks. I'm extremely happy to be holding one of these cards and be able to start uh, doing some testing and mining with it. With AMD, this card seems to be the outlier in the sense that the newer 67, the 68, and the 6900 cards, they're great for what they do, but it seemed like AMD lost their path with the crypto mining, in my opinion. So the previous generation of AMD cards, whether it's the even the 57580s, or even if you look at the more recent, the 56 to 5700s, they were better miners. They could mine stronger, they were more efficient, they were more competitive. You see a lot of uh, mining farms having them, still using them today. But even myself too, looking at the 67, 68, 69s, the hash power versus the cost versus the wattage just didn't make sense until today. So this is AMD's brand new card. It should be able to do at least 30 mega hash for Ethereum. It's supposed to be a very, very energy efficient and cool. So we're gonna put this in a mining rig and we're gonna run some metrics. We're gonna do some thermals. Let's see what it can do. I got my test rig all set up right now. I have the brand new Radian RX 6600 XT in there. Oh, and I opened up some windows. So I have access, easy access, be able to see what's going on with hardware and 64 as well as I have uh, the latest AMD software in here right now, so I'll be able to do all my overclocking with that. And let's get started. Let's bring up a miner. Out of the box, we're getting 28.88 mega hash, 100 watts. Let's start playing with our overclock now. Wow, okay, 32.6 mega hash, 57 watts, 572 is the efficiency. So this card is consistently giving me numbers 32 and a half um, and about 57 to 58 watts and a 560 or 570 efficiency. So it, it's living up to its name. There we go again, 32.62. I've already tested, I've already gotten 672 accepted shares zero reject so that that's wonderful how a 57 and again efficiency is 572 so i was so excited after seeing i was getting 32 mega hash at about 57 watts i had to throw this in one of my real mining rigs and wow i am just blown away right now i am getting over 33 i'm actually even right now 33.12 mega hash between 58 and 59 watts with a 560 efficiency this is awesome and just you know, 155 shares accepted so far, only one reject. This, uh, I'm super excited. Going to be doing some more work with this. Going to be comparing it with a 5600, a 5700, and the 6600. Wow, so that was a pretty impressive benchmark. So I know I'm able to get about 32, even sometimes 33 mega hash at like 55 to 58 watts. And it's, it's cold. It's still really cold. I was surprised I could put my hand on it and barely feel any heat from it. That's 
unheard of for me. But this card is a special card that it's low power, which is great because it's greener in a sense. It's giving me over 500 on my efficiency number. It's able to mine certain algorithms. I know it's able to mine Ethereum well. It's also supposed to be able to do Kapow, I believe, very well too. But we're going to test that another day. But I see this card really fitting into more of an entry-level PC, someone who wants to do 1080p gaming as well as being able to mine. It would probably work great there and probably be able to be done at a thousand dollar budget or in thereabouts. But where would I see this fitting as a crypto mine? Do I see a place? Absolutely. But I see this as place as more of a secondary card. So if I have a mining PC and I'm running my primary 3070, 3080, sometimes 3090, I have that other slot there, but I just, I can't put another beefy card in there that's gonna make a lot of heat and eat a lot of wattage. So this card, if I could put this card in there and it's not really gonna create any more heat or very minimal, and it's only gonna pull like 55, 58 watts, that's a dream. Making me an extra $2, $2.25 a day, to me, that's a no brainer. I would definitely do it. Uh, another place where I could definitely see this is a lot of times if you want to run your computer around the clock, if you're in a small apartment or a studio apartment, you don't want the additional heat as well as if you want to quiet. This card, even a lot of the times the fans, if you clock it down low, the fans almost go off because they don't need to. It's very quiet, it's very cool, and it's energy efficient. So it's three great things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up like. If you haven't already subscribed, please slam down on that subscribe button. We would love to hear your questions and comments. If you have one of these cards and what you think of it, please, we would love to hear that down below and we'll do our best to reply. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Happy mining.